Hi, this is Professor Gallipo. This demo will show you how to create wood floors for your interiors. We're going to render with marker and pencil, colored pencil. So please get out this trace file. And then we're going to look for these markers from your kit. You should already have these markers. So we want sand, crimson red, vermilion, Spanish orange, sienna brown, and dark umber and then we will also be using the warm gray 40. The color pencils we will use are the black, the dark brown, the medium brown, yellow, and orange. All right, so get everything ready and we'll get started. We're gonna trace with a pencil. So we are going to be overlaying a marker paper over your trace file. This was one of the examples I have showing in your lecture um, PowerPoint. So we'll do something like this. And I've also got uh, some markers laid out. So let's try the dark mahogany first. So you're gonna put your trace file first and then lay over your trace file with your marker paper. And for the dark mahogany, I want to use sand, crimson, red, sienna, brown, and dark umber. So those are the ones I'm going to grab. And the red. And I'll just set the rest of those aside for now. So I have those four markers, and then I'm going to use my pencil and a straight edge ruler to just do a few trace lines here. So I know you probably can't see my underlay all that well, but we want to kind of follow somewhat of a perspective view of this floor. And so we want to kind of get most of the lines in here so that we know what to follow. And I need this to be very, very light because these are just guidelines for me. Okay, so I've gotten some of those lines in. And then I'm going to come back and follow these little marks that are indicating where the planks are ending. I'll just give myself some idea of where those are coming from. Again, this is quick sketch. You don't have to be super exact as your trace. Just do it as fast as you can. Get just the general information in there. Okay, and then you can remove your underlay. Just get that out of the way. And then we're going to start with a base color. I always start with the lightest color first, so my base color is going to be the sand. And we want the chisel tip. And we're going to very quickly go from one end to the other. I usually place my marker right where I know that there's going to be a, a plank separation. So where the planks come together. And I'll just very quickly do something like that and then go back across. And this can be kind of a scribble technique. And my sand is a little bit um, burned out. <laughs> so it's not getting as dark as yours might get. Okay, and I just want that to be my underlay color. And remember, we do want to leave a little bit of white sometimes. And we want the underlay, this lighter color, to show through. So we're going to get that in there. And then we're going to move to the next color. All right, so the next color I want to add is the crimson red. And I'm going to move kind of quickly because I want to put the sienna brown right on top of the crimson red. And so we're not going to do a whole lot of crimson red, but we just want a little bit of highlights here and there. And yes, it looks very dark, but we, remember we're doing a dark wood floor. And again, I still sometimes want to get that a little bit darker where I know that there's going to be maybe a separation in the planks. And then I'm going to come back in with my sienna and go right over what I just did. And you'll start to see that this is starting to look more like a wood floor. And remember, you're going to still leave white areas. You can go a little bit more with the sienna because now we're getting into the brown colors. And we want to just kind of punch up the over the red so that it starts to look more like a dark brown. And 
and don't overwork it the first time. We can always come back, kind of leave it like that. And our next color we're going to add is going to be the dark umber. Remember, you cannot be afraid. Just try, try, try. If it doesn't come out the first time very well, then you're going to try again, right? So now the dark umber. And it doesn't really appear as dark as you might think. So again, I'm going to look for some of those uh, places where our planks are meeting together. And then I'm going to come back in and very lightly kind of just go over this. And we're starting to really get that idea that this is a dark wood floor. We still might need to leave a few bits of white. And we still want to follow the direction of the wood grain. And kind of look where those lines were that we first drew in. And we still want some of that other color below to come through. We can start to switch to our other tip and sort of find where some of those planks actually do come together. Maybe follow those lines. And remember wood has grain, so it is possible that you could scribble a little bit of grain in here. Okay, and it's starting to look more like wood floor, right? And nothing has to be a straight line because it's wood floor at this point. Right, so we've got most of our marker in. And one of the reasons we like to use the red underneath is because it gives it a really nice, rich feel. And I am going to come back in and work this just a little bit more. You just don't want it to look like a solid brown. You want it to have some reflection looking. And we can always come back in with something as well. So now we've used all four of our markers and we're going to come back in with a little bit of pencil. So for the dark wood floor we can use the black and again this time we can get out our ruler and we want to add just a few lines that indicate that we have plank here. It doesn't have to be everywhere. And if you uh, need to sharpen your pencil, go ahead and sharpen it. I'm going to now switch to the brown to show you the difference. So that could be also what you use to indicate your planks. Let me go back over this just a little bit. And you just, go, uh, just really need to keep working this until you are satisfied with the look. The next thing I would do is come back in and add, I know I can't see them anymore, but I know that every so often there's going to be a change in plank and I can start to add those back in. And again, quick sketch, you don't have to be perfect, just an indication of what's happening with the direction of your planks. Okay, so uh, if you wanted to add a little bit of highlights, you could come in with white or possibly come in with a little bit of a yellow, just very, very lightly to show some kind of highlights. And that would be just your base floor. I wouldn't work it any more than that. Uh, keep practicing and see what you can come up with. Okay, just real quick, I went ahead and sketched my base, uh, my base floor one more time, my trace file. I'm going to try to do something that looks like bamboo and then in part of it and then in another part something that looks like kind of a orangey oak. And so the colors that I'm going to use for those are sand, Spanish orange for the bamboo. I can add a little bit of vermilion to the um, mixture and some sienna brown to kind of get a warm oak color. So just real quick to show you the differences, you use the same techniques of course, but I'm going to start with the sand again because that's my um, base color. So it all starts out the same way as the dark wood floor. However, we're not going to go that dark uh, last time we used that dark umber. So this time not going quite that dark. And bamboo has little streaks in it. So if you are going to be doing the bamboo, 
um, let's do the bamboo at this end. Then you could add from the chisel or from the point side some more marks. Again, mine's really burned out, so I'm going to have to find another sand to use. Uh, but that is um, going to be your base color. Then the next color you're going to add for the bamboo is going to be your Spanish orange. So that is going to look like this. Spanish orange is actually more of a yellow color. And again, this one I'm going to come in and do the same thing, but very lightly add some of this yellow. And remember that bamboo, again, you can use the point tip and kind of give it more of a streaky look. I'm not going to go that far because I think I want to show you the oak at that other end. So I'm going to make this kind of streaky. And then I think I'm going to come in with the warm gray. And this is going to kind of just smooth it out. Okay, and remember we're trying to make it look kind of bamboo-y. <laughs> Alright, and then I think I'm going to want to try to come back with the sand, but let me go grab a different sand that is not burned out, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I found one that actually is not burned out, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more sand to this. I kind of just want to tone down those yellow marks from the Spanish orange. And I can definitely come back in with the point side and add some more of those streaks. Kind of just try to make this look like bamboo. And again, quick sketch, it doesn't have to be exact, it's just a suggestion of what your material is. You're not trying to make it look picture realistic or anything like that. Alright, so you can also use that as your bamboo. You can come back in with a little bit of yellow or brown or even a little bit of, I would, I would do yellow or brown for my color pencil. Maybe add just a little bit more color or texture to it with a pencil. And with the brown, you could come back in and add where your planks might come together. Because again, even with bamboo, you do have planks that meet up. And you can kind of show where the edges are. Okay, so that would be your bamboo. I'm going to do the rest of this as what I would consider a orange oak. Okay, so for the orange oak, I'm going to use that same base with the yellow, and I'm going to come back in with a little bit more sand this time because I need this to be a bit darker. Now that I have one that's not completely burned out. And oak has a lot of grain, so you can kind of scribble this if you want. And then we're going to come back in with the sienna brown. And we can also add in addition to the sienna brown, depending on what color of oak you really want, we could just go with this for the oak, right? That looks pretty much like an orangey oak. If you wanted to even make it look more orange, you could come back in with a little bit of vermilion and then come back over it a little bit more with the sienna brown. So that's how you start to build up your colors and whatever you have in your kit, Whatever you have in your arsenal, you can try. You can try mixing colors together. You don't have to do exactly what I'm recommending. I'm going to add a little bit more of the sienna brown. You can use whatever colors you want to try. All right, so that's your wood floor. Do as many tries as you want. You can create your own colors. Use whatever you have. Um, I would come back in on this one with maybe an orange or a 
brown pencil. All right, so have fun with this. Do as many as you want. Try as many colors as you like. And then when we get to our vignettes, you'll be able to do wood floors. Have a great time. Bye.